Hiya fishy folks and Merry Christmas. Welcome back to another edition of Michael's Fish Room. Today, Christmas tips for your fish. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. You know what? Any snack and beverage, cause it's Christmas time. Stand by. Welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today you're gonna to be talking about tips for if you're traveling over the Christmas holiday or if you have people coming to the house for the Christmas holiday. Before we get started with those tips, uh, I just want to talk about an epic deal at michaelsfishroom.com, the website where you can buy the fish I breed or import in my basement fish room. And uh, the deal is, is epic. So if you buy a $100 gift card, you will actually get $120 worth of gift card. That's right, folks. It's like an extra 20% added on to your $100 gift card purchase. Just go to michaelsfishroom.com and click the gift card deal. First, we're going to talk about if you're leaving, if you're going somewhere for Christmas. Now, some people go away for just Christmas, maybe, maybe a day or two or a week. And with your fish tank, uh, here's what I recommend. If you're going away for a week or less, do absolutely nothing. Zero. Don't feed differently. Don't have someone come in the house and feed. Don't change water differently. Don't change your lights. Leave everything the same. Healthy fish in an established fish tank can easily last one week without any additional food. That's right, folks. I said additional food because in an established fish tank, there's biofilm on every surface, plus little microorganisms where the guppies can nibble all day. And so they're really not gonna go hungry. They're just not gonna get commercially based food. Your tank will probably be cleaner afterwards. Now I don't recommend adding uh, or feeding extra before you leave because that's just gonna add more poop to the water and could technically jack up your cycle for a little while and you're not going to be home to fix it or know what's going on. I want to change water scheduling different. If you're scheduled for water change while you go away, I would do it maybe the day before you leave, but don't do extra water changes. Just another thing that could possibly go wrong when you're not home and you won't know what's going on, nor could you do anything about it. I certainly, under no circumstances, 0% chance would I have someone come to the house and feed the fish if you're going away for a week or less. Because there's no need. The chance of them doing something wrong and jacking up your tank are way greater than the chance of something going wrong uh, in your fish tank and you losing fish while you're gone if nothing happens. Now if you're going away for longer than a week, <coughs> I'm fine. Uh, and you think that you want to have someone come in and feed, here's what I recommend. Go to Amazon, in fact, click the link in my description on Amazon.com, buy a pill box, okay? Then you put food for either one day or every other day maybe into each compartment and you tell the person, this is all you feed. Before you leave, you hide the rest of your fish food. Nowhere near your fish tank because they will go looking for it and overfeed your fish tank because even though fish have little itty bitty tiny bellies, people think they need to eat way more than they do. I mean, fish keepers do it all the time, they overfeed. Uh, and it's just, it's not a good thing, especially when you're not home. So you're gonna take the pill box. Let's just say you're gone for two weeks and you want them to feed every other day. You take the seven day, pillbox and in every container you put the food that you want them to feed the exact amount and you tell them this is all you feed you put the water you put the food in the water that's it again hide everything else put it in a different room a different floor take it with you just don't let them find it because they will overfeed now if we're going away for less than a week again do nothing more than a week you may want to consider having somebody come in and feed. Uh, whether they're experienced or not, you want to follow those directions. It'll just make it more simple. Now, if you have people coming to the house, obviously you want your tank to look its best. If it's a show tank, start cleaning it a few days before Christmas. Uh, today is the 22nd, so if you're watching this, you have three days before people will show up for Christmas. Now's a good time to start. Clean all the uh, algae, 
uh, do a water change if it's part of the schedule, clean your filters, let everything settle over ne the next day or so so that your tank looks pristine. Also, if you have little kids coming over that may want to feed the fish or may get a kick out of feeding the fish if you ask them to, and possibly they get interested in the hobby and then you have another fishy friend, uh, don't feed your fish that day. Maybe don't even feed them the day before because if little Johnny wants to feed the fish and little Jenny wants to feed the fish and then medium sized Henry wants to feed the fish and extra large size Mary wants to feed the fish, you're going to want to let them all feed the fish. And they're going to be overfed probably, so don't feed them the day before. This way, they won't be that overfed. Just a little tip from yours truly, Michael from Michael's Fisher. Now, when they go to feed the fish, what you're going to want to do is take the food yourself. Take the exact amount. Whether you crush up flakes or you have pellets or what have you, you're going to want to hand them the exact amount and tell them exactly, just drop it in the tank. You may even want to show them ahead of time with just a tiny bit, okay? If you have little kids especially coming over, I would lay down ground rules. You know, you might say to, you know, the little tyke, Frank, Hey Frank, don't bang on the glass. The fish don't like it. You know, don't put anything in the fish tank. The fish don't like it. You may want to even have a chat with mom and dad. Hey, could you watch little Frank? Because if he kills my fish, I'm going to be pissed. And uh, you're going to get coal in your stocking. You know, something. Anyway, those are my tips if you have people coming over or if you're going away for Christmas. It's all pretty much common sense, but sometimes we need to be reminded. Guys, don't forget to check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. And of course, uh, if you buy something, 10% of the purchase price uh, between now and the end of the year will go to Anna, that little girl that tragically lost her mother in a, a car accident a few weeks ago. That's a fundraiser that Lisa from Super Cichlids is organizing. Guys, if you like this video, if you find it entertaining or informative, feel free to share it in your fishy groups. Perhaps leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Hope everyone has a great Christmas, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Eastern Standard Time. Buy $100 worth of gift cards on... That's dumb. I was doing so good too, I had energy, and I screwed it up. Rah! All right, folks, uh, today we're gonna to be talking about tips. So let's first, let's talk about, so let's first, let's talk about, that's, yeah, okay. Welcome back to the channel, Fishy Folks. Today we're gonna to be talking about tips for whether you're traveling for Christmas or whether you have people coming to the house for Christmas. Guys, before we get started with that, I just wanna talk about an epic deal at michaelsfishroom.com where you can buy uh, imported guppies, USA bred guppies, uh, Pleco's bread in my fish room, or Cory's. <sighs> you think I know what you could breed and stuff, but no, I, I stumbled. Let's, let's start again.